welcome back for Can You Believe It? The first of the holiday content already. Wow, years ago, I kind of made myself the subscription box girl, meaning I would like sit down and open subscription boxes all the time over here. And then when the holidays rolled around, I transitioned to trying to open some advent calendars. So I am here today with four advent calendars, and this is actually part one. I have four more in the mail on the way to me. So we're gonna be doing another one of these here in the next week or two. But for now, four advent calendars. These are all ones I bought with my own money that I just really wanna see. Every year I love the one from Anthropology, the George and Viv 24 Days of Beauty. We also have the Benefit All I Want. I think this was the most expensive, surprisingly. The 24 Days of Self Care. This one I bought from Ulta. I don't know if it's Ulta's brand or if they just sell it. And then this one I'm really excited for because look at this case. 24 Days of Beauty from Revolve. And so if you think about it, four boxes means we're about to open almost 100 things. So buckle up, who knows how long this video is gonna be. That's why the next four are gonna be in a part two slash they're not here yet. Where do we begin? Let's start with the Ulta, 24 days of self-care and work up to benefit anthropology revolve. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anything with cool packaging gets me and I feel like advent calendars is when people really show off. So we're gonna go in order, starting with one. <gasps> I literally use this every day. Super goop sunscreen. I normally use the glow, but this is the unseen sunscreen. Two is a big box over here. Oh, wait, also something I would use. Acne patches, pimple patches, pimple stickers, whatever you wanna call them. I haven't tried this brand, the Peace Out before, but this one has salicylic acid, retinol, and aloe vera, which is pretty great. I'm impressed and we're two things in. I literally just used this this morning as well. I kind of feel like I'm being punked. Living Proof dry shampoo. I love Living Proof's products a ton. I haven't washed my hair in days. Real fact, I just used this this morning. Four is over here. She's tall and skinny. Juice Beauty. Green apple peel, full strength. I remember I actually got this once when I was hosting a bachelorette for my best friend Kaylee's. I got all the girls like a spa kit and I put these in all the girls spa kits. I haven't tried it in years, so it's time to try again. It's like an exfoliating mask, it burns. So fun. Five. Tula. These are all just really respected brands. This is the cult classic, just cleanser. A lot of people love it. I haven't tried it also in years, but I have tried it before. I think it's time for me to try it again. Six. Oh my gosh. Philosophy Hope Smooth Glow Multitasking Moisturizer. I know Philosophy is also well respected. This box was $60, which I think is by far the cheapest out of all of these. Oh, this is a really tiny little one, but still excited to try them. Seven. I broke a nail yesterday, and this is probably not the best time to be trying to open things with a broken nail. <gasps> Olaplex. Say what you want about Olaplex. I don't know where the um, standings are about, I know they had some controversy about their ingredients, but it does work really well. Haven't tried this. This is the Hair Perfector number three. I will be trying this as well. I guess I'll just be trying all these things in, <laughs> in hindsight. Eight over here, little guy. Two Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This takes me back to high school. I used to love this in high school. You should give it a little try. If my lips look red and irritated for the rest of the video, they're also gonna look juicy. Wow, this smell takes me back. Just let that sit for a bit. Ooh, Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. I guess it's just a daily exfoliator. Um, massage gently for one minute. I haven't, I haven't ever tried this one. This is the first thing. Is this the first thing that's new to me? Kind of. The Pimple Patch brand was, but there we go. There's that one. 10. Okay, something else new to me. Paracone MD, hope I said that right. Cold Plasma Plus Sub D Neck. It's a neck treatment. Okay, that's actually something that I do need in my routine. I'm very bad about remembering to bring my skincare down my neck. 11. Ooh, this feels like a full size, is it? COSRX Retinol plus Super Vitamin E. Just like a daily serum, I suppose. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into this brand. I don't know much about it at all, but my lips are officially starting to burn. 12 is my lucky number, and I will say that probably every time we open an advent calendar. Ugh. 
Briogeo. Yes. I'm constantly on a hunt for a new deep conditioning mask because my hair needs like the deepest conditioner at the ends lately. I don't know why, I don't know what about it. So I will be using this tonight. It's hair washing day. 13. This is a retinol resculpt overnight treatment. Okay, so we have a couple different like retinol, retinol adjacent products here, but an overnight treatment is very nice. 14. Oh, Kopari. This is their moisture whipped ceramide cream. Kopari is another brand that I used to use all the time and I've kind of lost touch with. So nice to be reacquainted, Kopari. 15. This looks like it might be a little like perfume or something. No, this is Tan Lux Illuminating Self Tan Drops for your face. Okay, I'll give her a try. I've recently fallen in love with Typology's face tan drops, but I will give her a try with an open mind. 16. Another belief. Wait, isn't there another one of these? No, there's not. I made that up. This is the Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. I love that. Lock and seal explosive hydration overnight. <laughs> All right. 17 is kind of large. Oh, Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Gels. I wonder if, okay, no, I was gonna say, I wonder if they're reusable. It's a one-time use, but it's a little gel eye patch situation. 18, Origins. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this one so far, especially because I was least excited about this one out of the four, so what a day. <laughs> this is Origins Plant Scription Multi-Powered Youth Serum. That's a cute little teeny tiny bottle. It's pretty adorable. We're already on 19. Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. This is great. We need all the, listen, I just wanna be a dewy skin girl or for the rest of my life. So all these like hydrating things, I'm game. We're in the 20s. Come on, Mr. Broken Nail. TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. I think they're saying, hey, stop forgetting about your neck when you do your skincare. And okay, I will listen. I will listen to you. 21, that's the one I accidentally kind of opened a second ago. Oh, I think it's a perfume. Vacation by Vacation. <laughs> well named. Oh, it actually smells a little bit like sunscreen to me. You know how sunscreens will have like a coconut kind of, a coconut pineapple kind of scent to them sometimes? It kind of smells like that. I probably wouldn't wear it, but if I smelled it on someone, I'd be like, you just got back from Hawaii. How was it? 22, overnight transformation complex. Looks like it's another overnight mask for sensitive and dry skin. If things can do the work while I'm sleeping, Please. We're already on the second to last, 23. Dry bar! I actually just went to dry bar a couple weeks ago and I paid to have this as an add-in and I really, really liked it. It's the liquid glass smoothing serum or sealant. I don't think it's a serum, I think it's more of a spray. And it made my hair just look very smooth. So I'm excited to DIY a little blowout with that. And last but not least, Mr. 24, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. I have heard about this, never tried it. Lactic acid treatment. I think that this is a pretty pricey, a pretty pricey one. Okay, all right, look at our little haul from that one. That is everything that is in the 24 days of beauty from Ulta. We're off to a great start. Where do we go from here? Max, do we do the benefit? Okay, let's do benefit. I get more excited about the um, boxes that have a variety of brands but this one I think is pretty highly coveted. I don't know a ton about Benefit Cosmetics, so educate me, <laughs> please, Advent Calendar. This one is $149, quite possibly the most expensive one from today, but the value is $329. I'm interested to see how many full size versus sample sizes there are. Oh, it's an actual box. Oh, cute. Here's what that inside looks like. Pretty precious. I guess we'll just pull these out in order. Starting with number one, their real magnet. I guess this is a mascara. This is a mascara. All right, I am picky about my mascaras, but I will give this a try. That's what that one looks like. Two. There is something so fun about them being in little boxes. Okay, what am I looking at here? Oh, it's a brush. It's a little compact travel brush. 
That is so handy. My brushes are disgusting from being thrown into just travel bags. I will be using, I'm very excited about that. Look at how, boop, feels nice too. Okay, three, see what we got here. Oh, it's a brow setter. My favorite brow gel was just discontinued and I'm really sad about it. And so I have to start the hunt. So this will be the start of my hunt, this 24 hour brow setter. It's kind of perfect timing. Four, let's create an avalanche in here. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny, what is it? It's a matte lip tint. I already have on something on my lips now from our little clear plump serum, but that looks like a pretty color. Should I just try it over the plumping? We're just gonna try it. Oh, but it is matte. I can't see what I'm doing in my tiny viewfinder. Let's pray that's on my lips. <laughs> Five. Ooh, bad gel bang. Okay, it's another mascara. Max is intrigued by this. It looks like a treat. It's not a treat. Volumizing mascara is what the back says. We're on to six, Max. Oh, this is a big one. Another brow wax. This is actually really good timing for my upcoming hunt. Fluff up brow wax. Very different type of vessel. So this is a wax, not a gel. I will be giving it a try. Seven. Ooh, okay. I've been dying to try this ever since, what, 2012 when this was so popular. I've literally never tried it. The Hula bronzer. Every, every beauty guru from the early 2010s exclusively wore this. So I'm quite excited. <laughs> Fan Fest, is this another mascara? Okay, I know Benefit is a lot of brow and lash products, so makes sense that we're gonna get a lot of brow and lash products, but this is FanFest Little Miniature Mascara. Nine. Ooh, I feel like I've seen this. This is like the lip tint, right? That is liquidy in there. Can you see that? Can you see how like liquidy that is in there? This is the Benny Tint. Rose tinted lips and cheek stain. I'm a little bit intimidated by it, but if it like actually stained and lasts all day, that would be so handy. Double digits, guys. We're on to 10. They're real. Is this another mascara? This is another mascara. This looks like a brown mascara. I don't think I've ever tried a brown mascara before, but that's kind of fun for like natural days. 11. Pore Freshional Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Oh my gosh, it's purple. I was not expecting that. Interesting. It's kind of fun. Have a purple face mask on. 12. My favorite number. Ooh, it's a blush. Terra, T-E-R-R-A. This is, it says a blush, but to me that gives kind of bronzy blush vibes. Kind of almost a two for one because it's very brown, which I actually really like. 13. Okay, another blush. This is warm seashell called Shelly. Oh, this is a pretty summer shade. Light pink. Okay. Do you think that this is another blush? Do you think they give you three blushes in a row? Nope. They throw you off. This is something. What is this? Ah, it's a lip tint. A teeny tiny lip tint. Wow. Was that 14? Are we on 15? 15. 15. 15, look at, oh, look at this one. A full size, the roller lash. I have heard about the roller lash. Okay, the little bristles on this are quite small, which normally I'm hesitant about, but I have heard good things. And this packaging is very easy to open because this is like quite grippy, which is pretty nice. 16. I think this is another little blushy thing because it doesn't shake much. It is. It is Willa. It's another blush color. I like that one. I feel like we have fall, we have summer, and this one is kind of spring. <laughs> we need a winter color. Let's see if we get it. Another brow. Give me brow plus. Oh, this is a colored brow gel. So you can use this to kind of fill in your brows as well, which is great. Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, 18. Oh, tight and toned, pore professional, pore refining AHA and PHA toning foam. I feel like I don't see many foaming skincare 
So I'm intrigued. One to two pumps, use AM and PM. Kind of fun. That's a nice size too. The last of the teens, guys, 19. Poor professional super setter. Let's try it right now. The things that I can try, perfumes, lip products, setting spray. I will try, I'm a little scared. It's fresh. I'm gonna sneeze. It feels great on the skin. It is fragranced, which gives me slight to pause. <laughs> But feels great. Let's see. Do I look any different? We're on to the 20s. Pore Professional Pore Primer. It's been a year since I've used a primer, but um, I feel like they do help for like the full makeup looks. Okay. Fun. 21. Oh, I wonder if this is supposed to have a little top to it. This is a precisely my brow pencil, and it's a super fine tip brow pencil which is fun to try. 22, is this, our, is this our winter blush? Did we find it? Ooh, Krista. No, this is our, this is our something else blush. This is our pew pew, bang bang. This is our party hard girl blush. 23, another poor professional light primer. That's what that one looks like. It's a bit smaller than the other one. Here's the two sizes for reference. And last but not least, 24. Good cleanup. A pore purifying foaming cleanser mousse. I wonder if this helps get makeup off or if it's just another face wash. Something about the cleanup makes me think maybe it's intended to help remove makeup. That concludes that guys. Here's our total haul from the Benefit box. Everything in one right here. I will say so far out of the two, my top contender is the Ulta bang for your buck wise. But next is usually my favorite, the Anthropology Georgian Viv. I'm gonna save the Revolve one for last because that one just seems so exciting. So just take a minute for the packaging. It's just done so right. That's the inside. I wonder if I can get it to stay open. Okay guys, buckle up. I'm so excited. Ah, okay, we're starting at one, which is right here. Lano Lips. 101 ointment, multi balm strawberry. These little things in the anthropology checkout line, you know how they have all the cute little tiny little gifts? They always get me. I always want to buy them all and I talk myself out of it because it's not practical. Now's the time. This is basically, I think, the, that whole section of the store. Two. Ooh, it's a perfume. Flirty, sensual, spontaneous. Stella is the scent. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. Okay, she's she's bright floral. Not fully something I would commit to, but yet again, if I smelled it on someone, I'd be like, yum. Three. Ooh, real luxury magnesium body butter with lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. Yes, please. It's scent to de-stress, and magnesium is so important. It's like something that the majority of us, especially in America, are deficient of, and you can absorb it topically as well as orally. Oh, it smells good. I'm into it. Four. Ooh, rolling away. CEO Afterglow, Sunday Riley. Yay! We got a couple things from her now. This is a brightening vitamin C cream. Very cute. Five. So, oh, it's another perfume. This one's called Salt. And I like earthy smells. I don't like super floral or citrusy. I like warm and earthy. So we'll see how salt goes. Oh, it, feels, it smells very clean. Maybe yet again, a little too perfumey for my taste, but I do like it a lot. Is that five? Yeah, I don't see five. Six. This one's heavy. Oh, it's a nail polish. Butter, butter, butter. We're about to be into the season of red nails and I love that season. It's my favorite season. Seven, seven. Yet again, pretty large. It's another perfume. Okay, vanilla. I do like vanillas. So far, this is my favorite. This one is, let's see if we can beat it, but so far out of the scents, that's my favorite. Uh, where are we? Eight. That's so funny. It's the exact same thing, but different packaging. They're both the unseen sunscreen. This one is a half a fluid ounce. This one is 0.34 fluid ounces. Interesting. As we know, as we've discussed, I love it. I love this stuff very much. 
Um, nine. Oh my gosh, we're getting some repeats, guys. This is the face tanning yet again. That's funny. 10. Playing Jenga right now. We have Sugar Sugar All Natural Lip Scrub. I'm very into that. That's something that I could totally use often. 11. Where are we? Ooh, 11's a big one. Oh, I lost Jenga. Shampooing. The rest is in French. I think it's just a shampoo. Oh, here we go. For long, dry, or frizzy hair. All three, please. That is me. Ah! Gel cucumber mask. Another Peter Thomas Roth. I'm gonna get to know Peter pretty well these days. I didn't know him at all before today. So excited to try that. 13. Oh my gosh, the back of the box. It's getting so cute, the more you can see. <sighs> Yay, the Reservatol Lift from Coldly. Yet another brand that I'm afraid to say out loud, but I do love them. I love their, uh, what is the retinol? No, the, the doop, doop, doop serum. 14, a hydrating lip oil. This is, this is where I'm at. Let's hope it's clear. Yes, yes. I'm all about the clear lip oils. I don't love putting color on my lip very often. So if I can get a clear lip oil, I'm about it. This is by J-O-U-E-R. It feels nice. Feels, feels like it would be expensive if you were to buy that full price. 15. Oh, nice. This is a hair oil. It says it can be used on wet or dry hair. So you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna use it. It doesn't really have much of a scent. A little bit of like a warm sweet. My hair needs help. I like it. 16. Oh, Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is a good one. This one's good for helping to melt away makeup for sure. 17. Ooh. Ooh, wow. This is a big perfume, Floral Street, Sunflower Pop. I'm sure it's floral, which like we've mentioned is not normally my vibe. Oh, it smells like something very familiar from my childhood. She's strong. She's strong, she's floral. That's a very generous size though. She's heavy. 18. Rose Olive hand cream made in France yet again. That's really nice. I need to be better about hand creams. I don't know if I've ever really used a hand cream before, but you know, once it starts getting cold, that's probably a good thing to try to incorporate. 19. Nest Madagascar vanilla. Okay, let's see how this compares to the other vanilla. There's a lot of perfumes in the box this year. I like the other vanilla one better, to be honest. This is still my favorite out of the scents thus far. It's warmer, if that makes sense. This one is brighter. 20. Oh my gosh, another perfume. Okay, Anthropology might have overdone it with the perfumes this year. Oh, this is a spray. Oh, but I actually, I actually kind of like this one. Uh, missing person. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it's leaking on my fingers so I can smell it. I actually, I actually might like this one the most so far. But like we've discovered, I am quite picky about perfume. So you might like them all. <laughs> I first saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's empty. But it's a, is this another perfume? Okay, all right. Amber, it's getting to be really scented in here. Oh, it doesn't say what it is, but it's almost kind of smoky. I'm intrigued, actually. We're getting more and more closer to what I like as we go through these perfumes. It's another perfume. The perfume I used to wear for years was by this brand. It was a different scent, it was called Wish. This one is Imagine Flowering Willow and Lotus. I feel like it's not gonna be my vibe, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's floral. It's yet again clean, bright. 23. It's not a perfume. It is a hair oil. Okay, it has alpha creatine. Men's protects and shines. Honestly, I feel like I would really like this. I'm excited to give that a try. And that brings us to our final. Oh, sorry. I think that they saved a big thing for last. Ooh, 
Restorative body wash. This is a great travel size. This has carrot seed, frankincense, bergamot, rosemary, things I love. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is in the world of smells that I like for sure. That is really handy. I will be putting that in my travel suitcase. Okay guys, and that brings us to the next haul of things inside of this box, which years past there has been fewer perfumes and I did like it that way, but all in all, really like it. I still think so far my favorite is the first, the Ulta one, don't judge a book by its covers. Cover, <laughs> but that means time to try the Revolve Beauty, which the packaging is insane. So I'm excited to see what the inside is like. Okay, get excited because this is a literal suitcase. I mean, they're upside down this way, but I want y'all to be able to see them. Is it okay if we just do them upside down? <laughs> this is gonna be good for my brain. Okay, upside down suitcase. Here we go. We'll start with number one. Is this a bad idea? I feel like it's gonna fall. Oh, sounds like they have like crinkle paper or something. Oh, they do. Okay, attention to detail. Kopari, Ultra Restore Body Butter. Got a couple Kopari things today, which is fun. Upside down too. Ah, okay. That J Glow Serum, J Glow Beauty, J Lo Beauty. Like Jennifer Lawrence? I mean, Jennifer Lopez? Does she have a beauty line that I don't know about? But this is, um, wait. I just opened it and I saw that it looks, oh no, 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 it's clear. It looked, it looks bronzed, but it's just a glow serum. Oh, that feels really nice actually. Three. Three's heavy. <laughs> oh, it's a candle. I was like, oh good, a perfume. <laughs> it's a candle. Um, holiday scented candle. That made me so excited for Christmas. That was the first Christmas scent I've smelled this year. <sighs> this is my first Christmas that I'm gonna spend not at home, like with my parents, which is not, this is a tangent, but it makes me a little bit sentimental. Four, Gamma, Gamma, Jenga. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, a lip enhancer. I feel like all my lip products have worn off by now. I can give this one a try. Oh yeah, this is what I like. Glossy, sheer, hydrating. That's what I like. Five. I love this brand, r and Co. High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. I feel like I never cared about hair products until this year and all of a sudden I really care about hair products, which is weird. Excited to try that one out. Six. Ah! Oh my gosh, more pimple patches. I have been dying to try this brand because it's the shapes. Starface. I think that these are literally the star ones, but I think that they have other shapes too. Let's see. Yeah, they're literally star pimple patches. Isn't that cute? Seven. Ooh, Sol de Janeiro. Hair. Okay, for someone that doesn't love floral scents, the Bum Bum Cream, it's not really floral as much as it is just like summery. I actually love that scent, which is very weird because I normally don't. So I wonder if this is the same. No, it's not, but it's good. I think I like it because it smells kind of edible, like food. <laughs> Nourishing hair oil, but honestly, could kind of be a hair perfume as well. That's what that one looks like. Eight, right? Is that right? More Peter Thomas Roth. Hi, Peter, you've been in every box, except for the box that was only the brand benefit. Instant Firm XI. Temporary eye tightener helps with under eye puffiness. Okay, I'm gonna whip that out at night I don't get good sleep and put it to the test. Nine. It's really living on the edge over here. It's the thrill. I live for the thrill. Is this a full size Summer Fridays jet lag mask? Uh, 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 I gotta check what I spent on this, just a sec, to evaluate how, how good of a deal these things are. Uh, Revolve. Okay, this was $150. The jet lag mask. Oh, this isn't the full size. They have a bigger one now. This size is $26, but still, still, to have something is sold in store size. You know what I mean? That is great. Where am I? 10. <gasps> is this Osea? Is this Osea? It's Osea! One of my favorite brands on the planet. Salts of the Earth Body Scrub, guys. 
I am obsessed with this brand. This brand, my skin loves it. Their face wash has changed my life. I'm not being dramatic. I don't shut up about them, I love them so much. What was that, that was 10? 11. Benetint, that's so funny because we just got the teeny tiny tiny version of this in the Benefit one. Uh-oh, Benefit. Revolve is upping you at your own game. They gave us this size and they are the same price as you. What are you gonna do about that, huh? I could try the tiny one before I decide if I wanna keep this one or give it away. <gasps> are we at my favorite number already? Tower 28 is another brand that I've been wanting to try because I know people really, really love it. Um, are they considered clean as well? I think that they might be. But this, this is their mascara. We have a lot of mascaras to get through from, from these boxes. 13. Something big in here. Ooh. Okay, alpha beta peeling. I'm not gonna try to say that. Oh, is that, I was reading the not English side. Okay, here we go. Alpha beta universal daily peel by Dr. Dennis Gr Gross, Gross. I feel like I hear people say Gross, but maybe it's Gross. I hear good things about this guy. I've never tried any of his products. So, now's my time. 14, some fun packaging. Pre-game primer, youth for ya. Last step of your skincare routine prior to, prior to applying makeup. Decreases redness by reducing skin's inflammation and controls sebum for long lasting makeup. That's some fun packaging. That's how you get me. That's how you wrote me in. 15. Ooh, okay. This is a rich cream. I assume just a facial cream of sorts. Cute. A little baby cream. Not to be confused with creams for babies, just a baby-sized cream. <laughs> Are we on the 16? Because I've been eyeing this one because it looks quite large and exciting. <sighs> Yet again, Riogio. This is their Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing 3-in-1 Cleansing Bar for hair, face, and body. Huh, I wonder how well that actually works on hair. I almost just went for the next big one. That's not how this game works, Mikhail. 17. Okay. Orabe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. This, uh, honestly, honestly, I'm excited to try all these hair things. Why? I don't know, but I really am. Which will I choose for all of my upcoming hair washing? Very cool. Okay, 18. Are you kidding? But this is the body. This is the body. So it's slightly different, but we have all of the unseen sunscreens from Supergoop. This one is also 0.5. It's just like this one is 0.5. This one is the 0.34. Look at our collection that we have going here, guys. <laughs> That's funny. 19. Ooh, yay, an eye pencil. That's the first eye pencil we've gotten. Oh, it's an actual pencil. I don't know why the packaging made me think maybe it would be gel. We're on to 20. A vitamin C serum. Vitamin C, honestly, one of my favorite things. I normally use the Drunk Elephant vitamin C serum as my favorite, but Dr. Barbara. Dr. Barbara has one and it's the good C. Oh, cute. It's a little dropper. Okay, very fun. Yes, guys, we've made it to 21. I've been dying to know what's in this one because look at how large it is. It's the size of my head. What? Cryofacial? It's an ice roller. I've been wanting to buy one of these. I like how this is, I'm confused. There's nothing in there. Is there supposed to be something in there? I've been scammed. I was so excited. I think that they forgot to put it in. It's my sign to just go ahead and buy myself an ice roller. I was gonna say, I like how this is in a protective case so you can put it in your freezer and it won't get dirty. I want to I want to Google the cost of this. S L N Y cryofacial. Weird. Why can't I find this for sale? Wait a minute. I'm so dumb. Okay, maybe I'm not dumb. Maybe this maybe this isn't common knowledge, but I guess you add your own liquid and then you freeze it. So it literally is just this silicone container and then you it's just it's just a glorified ice mold, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little confused to be honest. Interesting. I might still buy a nice roller. 23. Guys, only three left. Max, there's only three left. 
Hyaluronic Color Balm. Is it a lip? Oh, it's a Charlotte Tilbury. Passion Kiss. I guess this is a lip color. Oop. There's the color right there. Did I go out of order? I did, I skipped 22, I'm so sorry. I have failed the game at the, at the last minute. <laughs> Just thrown off by the empty ice roller. <laughs> Revive Moisturizing Renewal Cream, a nightly retexturizer. It's that one. Our last box of the day. I'm intrigued to see if they've ended on a bang. Ooh, <gasps> I haven't tried anything from Dibs and I've been wanting to. This is the Desert Island Beauty Status Status Stick. It's a highlighting stick. You can add it to your face or body. So pretty. Look at that. This is definitely a full size, which I am thankful for. Okay, do I do it on my face? I could see how body would be very tempting in summer especially, but I'll try a little on my face. Like I said before, I can't really see much on my tiny little viewfinder. So y'all will have to tell me what you think. I'm excited about that. They did end on a bang. Wow, okay, so as with the others, here's our final haul from everything in that box. But like I said, that one was $150. Meaning, I still think my favorite is the Ulta because this feels very similar to the Ulta Beauty one, but that one was $60, this one was $150. So I think my order of favorites goes Ulta Beauty, Revolve, Anthropology, Benefit. Um, but I'm so excited for part two in a couple weeks. Stay tuned. We have some non-beauty ones to mix it up a little. And we have a couple other beauty ones too, let's be honest. I love y'all. I'll have these linked down below if they're still being sold. I just ordered these like a week or two ago. So hopefully there's still a couple of them. Feel free to subscribe if you want to make sure to not miss the next round. And if you're new here, and if you are new here, thank you for making it to the very end. That is a huge accomplishment. I love you. I'm thankful for you. And I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. Oh,